Guys, Britta here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are back at Ravenport, part number 16. We're already up to number 16. We're absolutely hammering through. Um, I downloaded another couple of mods. Well, another one mod that helps a lot, and that is heavy lifting mod. So now I can pick up anything. I can pick up the car and throw it if I want to. Uh, I don't think I can pick up the cows. <laughs> Just over here checking out the cows, checking out the horses and the sheep. Um, I've mowed around and collected all the grass I can. Um, and I've thrown it into here. I did actually get the bigger trailer, 56 and a, 56 and a half thousand litres this one takes. So now we've got 122,000 litres in here. So we've got heaps. Um, I will need to do a bit of work and try and level this out a little bit, but... Yeah, we'll leave it for another day, I think. Um, quickly check out our animals. So cows... I think we've had a baby, so we've got 31 cows now. Another one due in seven hours. Everything's pretty good. Um, sheep, still got six of each, so we're still waiting another 45 hours before we can get one of each. So that'll give us you know, an extra four. Um, everything's pretty good. Needs a little bit of water. Horses, they've gone up 25%. So now they're um, $12,000 worth. So we're not far off getting these guys and making a fair bit of money out of them. Um, so what I was going to do today was, um, I've got this field to harvest over here, which is our um, soybeans. Going to make a decent amount of money out of these. I've got him over here ready to come and collect um, the soybeans and take them to sell them. I've got the other tractor over here ready to replant. But I'm going to look into possibly doing um, some potatoes, I think. Um, forage harvesters and headers, sugarcane technology, cedars, planters, there we go. I think these are the ones that do uh, sugar beets, cotton, soybeans. Oh, so who does potatoes? None of these guys do potatoes. No, none of them at all do potatoes. Which is interesting. Okay, well, we must have to do them in uh, cedars. I think these some of these guys do potatoes. Maybe. Nope. That is weird. Mm, where are we? Potato technology. There we go. Sugar beet technology. Okay, so there's nothing there that just plants sugar beet. These guys only plant potatoes. So, um, as I said, the best thing, probably the best thing out of these is you can put potatoes back in there to replant. So you can continue to fill them back up with potatoes and replant them, which is pretty cool. Um, they're both exactly the same, just different leaders. So I was thinking of going potatoes. Um, maybe. I don't know. I, I know it's probably not going to be, you know, a great deal of profit. But, um, you know, I kind of like the idea of doing potatoes. Doing something different than we haven't already done. So he's off on his way. Um, you're not going to do anything yet. You're not going to do anything yet. We'll cycle through so you guys aren't running around with me. To our truck here. So we've got the milk, or the trail on the back, which we can fill up with milk. 8,802 litres, so we should be able to get 8,000 litres in here. Um, we'll go and find milk. The best place for milk is Central Grain Elevator. Well, that's where we'll go. So we'll have to... I might head out this way. I need to try and stick to, you know, driving to the roads. Instead of cutting across the railway line and... All those silly things. This guy, this guy seems to tie it really well. Um, even coming back doing 120 kilometers an hour and getting a little bit squirrely as we do at times, it didn't roll. But luckily now, even if it does roll, I've got the strength to be able to pick it up, turn it back over, and continue on. Right, so here comes a train. I think we go left up here. 
Arrow Road, try not to run over the sign. So with this trailer you can have three choices. You can have um, chrome, just like a polished silver, or black for trailer. And I went the black just because it matches the truck. That was pretty cool. Although the, the chrome, the chrome does look really good as well. Right, let's try and get over here. Reasonably steady. It's pretty rough. Turn right. It's weird that we unload the milk here. Especially when it's not in cartons, it's in a trailer, which is kind of weird. That's one thing that is kind of a little bit strange to me. Unload it, can't see it coming out anywhere. Oop. Nope. It'd be cool if they had some sort of hose come out. So money's going up pretty good, making a little bit. It's going to be 12,000, 12,000. $1,732. It's pretty good. And of course, that milk is just only going to improve when we get more and more cows in there. We've got a maximum of 50 in the little, the little cow, um, little cow pasture, little cow paddock, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's just go this way. Oh, I said I didn't really want to, but we're going to have to. Um, the other thing I have noticed, some people have been doing, um, field flipping. Now that's something we can look at later on. So you'll pretty much wait and find a field, say this one that needs to be harvested, buy it, harvest everything, and whether you store it or sell it or whatever you want to do, and then as soon as you've finished harvesting, you just sell the land back. You don't lose any money on the land, and you've gained all the crop out of it. So that's another thing that we can do. It's um, definitely interesting, and it definitely works. Like you can make good money out of it. Um, if you don't need the money straight away, the best thing obviously is to just harvest it and store it in like a silo or something, and then you can always come back later and um, sell it when you get like a great demand or something like that. come down here and have a look so I'm still not still not sure what I want to plant to be honest so I want to plant something a little bit different oh, I didn't realize that was a big dip there put him there we might I might plant like um corn or something something different uh, 54,000, 5.4 meters, 6 meters, 30,000, 696 liters though, 600 liters, we get both of those, um, gives us a little bit of extra storage. I don't think we have enough money to buy that though, can we? No, we're still maxed out on our loan, so we can't buy it yet. Might have to wait till we get, um... Till we get, like, a harvest out of here. Tractor's got a bit of damage on it, but it's got 13.4 hours on it already. So, we've definitely used it a fair bit. Can you stop for a second? No, I don't want you to go. Oh, Jesus. Hey, I'm right behind you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Knew he was going to do it. Might as well wait for him to get full now. Um, what were we harvesting? It was soybeans again, wasn't it, I think? Yeah. Okay, so where's the best price for soybeans at the moment? Uh, two six central grain elevator. Another quick trip. Let's hope he gets up the other end and turns around. 
don't think you will though. Um, I did, as you guys seen, I did plant grass along the side here. But when I rehired the worker to plant soybeans, it planted over the grass that we planted. Which is bloody annoying. Certainly didn't expect it to do that, especially once the grass had already grown. Um, I did come through and mow it though, so maybe... Maybe it's because I had mowed it that... Um, it had just planted straight over it. I don't know, I'm not quite sure. Get this guy unloaded. I think, I don't know if these are the trailers. I think you can get a double trailer on here. We don't really need it right now though. Um, I have seen a few people go with this guy. So that's $12,000 to 12,000 litres. Um, 24,000 for 24,000 litres. So you're probably better off getting two of these than getting one of these. Certainly are. So something that probably could have looked at early on, but I really didn't take much notice, to be honest. Right, let's um, get out of here. Go this way. Still can't get over the... Well, we might be able to get over the railway line here. I can make sure we're not going to get hit and killed. Beautiful. A little tractor that could this one. So you can see this field here, um, which has obviously got sunflowers on it. If you were to buy this field, 811,000, then harvest it, we should get a shit ton of a shit ton of um, sunflowers out of it then sell it you still get eight hundred eleven thousand dollars back so that's something that i want to look at eventually we just cannot afford to buy fields at the moment you guys can see that we're already in a massive amount of debt seven hundred thousand to the bank that's what we owe 790 actually so we're a little bit away from where we need to be Definitely need those horses to get up to that 100% and sell those guys. So I think we've got, we've got six or eight horses. Six, I think. Yeah, six. So that's $300,000 we're going to make out of that. So that's it's going to be a big profit for us once that comes around. Bit of a slow trip up here. I was hoping to get all that silage... Um, filled right out and then we'll be able to load up a couple of trailers and um, take it down, tip it off, make some money out of it that way. Um, I think I did mention the last episode, uh, Mr. Sealy P, you guys watching me probably already watch him, um, I had went through how to use the BGA. You have to buy it before you can use it now, unlike previous versions of Farm Simulator, you have to own the land before you can use it. Um, also, he couldn't get the bales to work. There is a bit of a glitch um, where you put the bale on the thing and it doesn't do anything. You've got to kind of knock the bale and roll it forward towards you and then it'll sort of just disappear in the middle of the air. So it does work, but it's a bit glitchy. Hopefully, giants will see that and um, have a look at it and fix it for us. But we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Go. So that can happen. Now we were going to go to planners. It's going to. Um, I think we'll just buy you. And we'll buy you as well. 44,000. Brought all that and we've still got money. So we're going to need to go down and pick those guys up. So we might have to use our faster tractor. Then again, we could probably, I could probably reset the ute or the truck down to there. Um, pick up that thing, like the, um, what do you call it? The seed box, I guess. No, we put the extra seed in to feed through to the 
the harvester, or the planter. Um, we mightn't have to actually take a tractor down there. We'll go down and have a look. I'm not quite sure how they connect though. Um, it says it connects to the Saltair 23. Does it connect on to it somewhere or does it connect on the tractor? I think it might connect to the back to be honest. Oh, then again, there's nowhere there to connect it. It might connect to the front. But then it's got headlights, so I don't know. I think it'd probably go on the front. Like on the front of the tra on the front of the, the tractor, not the actual attachment. Um, you see those couple of spots there? Why not hide them to plant soybeans there? Decided to plant a bit of soybean there as well, so I need to fix that up with grass. How's he going? He's doing pretty good. We're getting all the way, getting through the field. All right, let's go back to here. We'll reset. Uh, reset our pickup. I will. Uh, let's open that. Pick this up. As bad as it is. That's not what I wanted to do. No, I think that's knocked it over. There we go. There we go. Is that strapped it down? No. So we're going to have to be very, very careful. Um, the other thing we're going to need oh, is where I left it. There we go. You. Bring you back to here. Oh, Jesus. this thing won't fall out. Just a much quicker trip if we can do it this way. The real only reason why I got the heavy lifters mod is so we can pick up the bales on that by hand. Um, Jesus, it does make it a lot easier. Does that actually fold? There we go. Um, I don't know why it's got three bits. I don't know. All right, let's see if we can get back before we need to empty this guy. Hopefully, it doesn't fall out. Even if it does, God, that keeps doing that. Um, obviously, we can just pick it back up. So I want to try and stop leasing so much equipment. No, stop, stop. Oh, stop doing it. Um, whoop. Start buying more equipment. Can you stop doing that? Um, start buying more equipment instead of leasing it. It's obviously my goal. Um, we don't. The thing I find weird is the BJ. You need to buy it before you can actually start, you know, using it. But then we can take wood to the sawmill and stuff so I don't know I'm pretty sure we can buy the sawmill don't know if that'll increase prices or not probably not but that's kind of strange uh, can we actually buy we can buy that land there's plenty of trees in there we can cut down so you can do that yeah you can buy that land cut down all the trees and then um, sell the land back again with no trees on it which is probably Probably not the nicest thing you can do, but if you really wanted to, you know, buy the land, cut down all the trees, replant the trees, and then sell it back. Then once they're regrown again, you can come back and buy it if you want to. Um, our little saplings have grown to the next stage, so they're much easier to see now. A little bit bigger than they were before, you guys might have already noticed. Actually, I wonder if garage. I think we might have to cultivate, which I don't have a cultivator anymore because I got rid of it, which is a bit awkward. Um, right, get that off there. Actually, roll forward. 
off the road. Pick you up, work out where it's got to go. Oh, Jesus. I don't want that happening. Oh, there we go. Look how close he is to finishing. So close. So wait for a full trailer load this time. Can you see them? Yeah, you can see our saplings there. They're sort of bigger than they were before. I'm going to disconnect you. So I think... Pretty sure. That, so there's only one spot we can pick that up from. Can't connect it to the back, so it's going to have to go on the front. Then again, it says it, it does attach, so let's have a look. Oh, I really don't think it will. Put it there. Nope. It says they go together. So possibly goes this way, but I still don't think it would. Nope. So I think we definitely, definitely has to, oh, has to be separate. Only because of the headlights, there you go. So they work on there as well. So we can do corn, uh, sunflower, soybeans, sugar beets, cotton. I'm not too sure what we're going to do. Um, probably do corn and sunflower or something like that. Uh, we open the cover. So I refilled that. Oh, what are you doing? No, I'll press hide worker. I don't want to hire a worker. Why is it? It's taking money, but it's not filling up. It's really weird. Uh, that is... Oh, no, that's bloody fertiliser, you idiot. Oh, no wonder it's not working. Um, there we go. Can we go to you? Dump you there, because we don't want that. It's strange that it actually lets us pick that up. That is really strange. Well, now that's really confused me. So that's seed, and that's fertilizer. Okay, so it must fertilize the seed at the same time then. Okay. So I thought it was a bit strange, but nope, that's fine. Right, let's get this guy out of the way, because this guy's not going to move until we do. Shut that. Okay. Let's have a look. Bring up the menu. Turn on, select seed, unload, open cover. That's just for the front. Um, let's unfold. Corn. I don't think it'll work. No, until we've. Fortunately, we're going to have to cultivate. And silly me decided that we'd get rid of our cultivator because we've got the cedar there. All right, this isn't this isn't turning out very well. It's not working like I was hoping it would. You can go there. 
top of you there for now. Oop, other way. You can go there. Um, might actually turn you on. Might as well get these bits because it's probably going to. 1720, probably not going to give us much more, but it's all going to add up. Just extra 100. Two hundred. This is why I wanted the field square because I struggle. It's gonna be an extra three hundred liters, so it's not too bad. So there's our saplings you guys can see. Definitely getting bigger. Growing ever so slowly, but growing. that up we're gonna have to take that and drop that off and get another cultivator unfortunately so I probably should have kept it but I didn't think we're gonna need it again drop you there have a quick look at our cultivators I think that was on we hired before wasn't it 39,000 300 horsepower. What sort of tractor do we have? It's 300 smack bang. So that's definitely the one we're going to have to go for. This one. I've got enough money to buy it. Alright, you're ready to go. So we'll take these off and sell them. So every time we sell crops and start getting ahead, we find something else we've got to buy. And we could probably just lease it again. Um, be a lot easier. Thirty-nine thousand. We can lease it for three. There, let's do that. Lease it for three thousand. So we need to try and start, you know, getting some money, getting some money together, buying some new land and that sort of stuff. I mean, we're, going, we're not going too bad. We're progressing through pretty quick. Definitely want to get that field next to us, but that field next to us has nothing on it at all. Nothing. Is there any contracts for field two? No. It's kind of weird. Harvesting field eight. Sunflowers. Which is that one. Didn't even think that would be ready yet. Doesn't look ready. Oh, it's field four. That's why. Field eight's over here. Although I have heard people say that when they've harvested field eight, um, they couldn't get to 100%. So we kind of need to be a little bit careful what jobs we do do and what jobs we don't do. And anything that's fertilising wise, I mean we can pretty much pretty much do, but there's no fertilising there at all at the moment. Fertilising is probably the easiest one to do, make the most money out of it, so there we go, there's field number eight. Very, very big field. Go and drop this off. We should get more than we got last time. Oh, wrong button. I want to go backwards, not forwards. We got to tip that off. Um, we want to come back to here. We want to reset you. Reset you as well. 
50,000 that time. Beautiful. Um, I don't know if we're going to need that up here. No, we don't. Alright. Let's get this guy back down. And that's a start, so... Ooh, cultivating first. Unfortunately. So I pretty much did clear the most most of our land, I think, with um of those trees and stuff. Um, I've done the mowing. I did that. We about six o'clock started five five thirty in game time. Wanted to get that done before we um got that harvest done. You guys have seen me mow plenty of times, so you probably don't want to see it again. Although you've seen me harvest plenty of times too, but at least we're doing other things. All their hype workers oh, are doing oh, their thing. Jesus. Hopefully, yeah, this should get over those railroad tracks pretty easily. Which I don't know how much, how much horsepower has this baby got? 300. Right, if this can cultivate, probably could, you know. Probably not the most ideal machine. Here comes the train. Let's try and get down and across before we get hit and killed. There we go. If this works, I'll be surprised. <laughs> no. Not enough grip. We can't hire a worker either. <laughs> Got enough power, just no grip. Alright, we'll see how much... Oh, I was going to say, we'll see how much... Um, that other guy needs to... be able to plant. We can probably get our other tractor behind us planting. over here out of the way see I went through and I cleared like that hill of trees I think there's a couple over there cleared as well but most of our land now should be cleared of trees except for those few over there which I was going to leave it's amazing how much power these things need to pull to pull the cultivators through those really big cultivators are going to need what well, the biggest tractors we can we can get. You go and do your thing. Fertilized shouldn't be fertilized. No, it's cultivated, but ah, it needs lime. There we go. We're going to have to spray lime on it too. All right, how? much does this guy need 110 horsepower and we've got 142 so we can help definitely help yeah, we definitely need to um i don't know if we need to repair this tra yeah, the tractor needs repairing i think the bucket i love how the bucket you guys can see there is losing paint the more and more we're using it that is a really awesome addition Get this guy back down, and I might tr see take the trailer in and see if we have to repair the trailers and stuff too. Like I know we have to repair tractors, but do we need to repair everything else? I think we probably do. I have to do a really big cotton harvest too, but I'd have to find a field that. Um, growing cotton which is the white one no one is most fields are empty which is interesting I 
probably why there's so many sewing jobs going. Uh, with a sewing job, we could probably lease a sewer. Um, like the biggest tractor, the biggest sower for one of those sowing jobs and use that on all the other fields uh, before we finish the job, if you know what I mean. I'll try and explain it a little bit better than that. It's probably not a very good explanation. Let's see if we can have to repair this guy. Repair, $30. Customise. Doesn't really do anything, does it? Okay, actually, customize. That looks terrible. That looks terrible. That looks terrible. I'll connect you. Move you out of the way. $8. Put that, repaint it. It's still dirty though. Um, right. Oops, helps a bit get the right spot. Drop that off. Drop that off. Oh, that's nearly completely broken. That was lucky. I wonder if it gets to the stage where it's broken beyond repair. That. That'll be, be kind of interesting too, I guess, if it was... Yeah, you, know, you get to that stage where it's broken and can no longer be used at all. Right, so we're going to need spray lime. I don't know if it's worth spraying it now or not because he's kind of cultivating. Because it's probably as good a time as any. Now, bring this back out. Unfold you. Once it's sprayed, then it should um, you will have to re-fertilize, but that's all good. I think uh, lime's actually class class as a stage of fertilizer, so should be okay. Make sure we're not going to get smashed with a train. Go went, went a little bit off track there. I'm going to head straight towards him. Have to stop and get out of the way. So we're going to have to refill anyway, I think. Before we finish the field. Um, does that count as fertilizer? Doesn't look like it does. Alright, try and stay straight. No, I don't think it did. Oh, that spot's already done. That's all right. There's not much else for us to do while these guys are doing this. There's no point in me hiring a worker to do this because you know, there's nothing else for me to do. Um, 
I might go up and turn around. I might hit a hive worker, then I might have a look at, as I said, those sewing jobs. That's probably not the smartest thing to do. Which I don't think we need lime up here anyway, to be honest. So it's fine. Hide worker. How yeah, was it empty? Wasn't it just... Jesus. I thought it was just had like a thousand still. Uh, Alright, we'll fill this up and then we'll come back and I'll try and explain what I was saying before about the, those um, seeding jobs. So if you guys do get sick of doing lime all the time and periodic ploughing and all that sort of stuff, you can turn them off. Um, I have them all turned on still. What the hell? It's just giving me stuff in there that I didn't want. The herbicide or something. This bucket gets in the way sometimes. So I think, I'm pretty sure we still have everything turned on. On, 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 on and on. Periodic ploughing, yeah, it was on. Which, how many times we've harvested these guys and we still don't have to plough, which is a surprise to me. But we would have had to have ploughed by now. Alright, hit H, there you go. You can go and do that while I have a look at this. So, for these jobs, um, so sowing. 25, field 11, how big is that guy? 11 with wheat, 16, 15, 5, 13, so it's like, I don't know if it's a dude's far. Let's go cedars. So I think it's that one. 18.2 meters wide. The Great Plains one. So we can go um, up to here, sowing this guy. Okay, lease items. Okay. So it's this guy and this guy. So we can use all their fuel, all that sort of stuff, and start sowing. So we need to go sowing field 10, ah, okay, can't do more than one contract at a time, so they've fixed that bug. Never mind then, that's not going to work, uh, field 11. Okay, how much seed does this take? Uh, cedars. 5,800 litres, okay. No, not you. Big bags of seed. So one, two, three, four, five, and we'll just go six. Fill all those guys up. So we can either do this ourselves, or we can um, hire a worker to do it. Um, I did. I have opted into the um, beta mode, um, like through Steam. If you guys are unsure how to do it, you pretty much go to your Steam library, um, have a look at where Farm Sim 19 is. Right click on it. Go to properties, and you go across to beaters, and you can opt in to, to any of the beaters. Right, get that done. So you, you're done. No, you're not. Uh, unbelievable. Why do we always have to fix these issues? All right, there we go. Get this done. They, they never 
complete it. Like, you should still be going to finish this last little bit. We're going to have to kind of swing around and get the end of the run here, which is completely missed. Right, so what I'll do is I'll get that um, sewing mission completed. Then I'll um, get all this seeded and all that sort of stuff, and we'll come back next episode and be ready to harvest... Um, our corn, hopefully. So if you guys enjoy this episode, as always, smash that like button. Can you fold up? There we go. Um, leave a comment, let me know what you think we should do. Should we do a bit of field flipping? Um, should we, I don't know, just continue what we're doing now? Try and get our loan paid down? You know, you guys, let me know what you think we should be doing. And um, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito, thanks for watching. See you again soon.